Welcome to the Sevens List Countdown. Sailors and fishermen are among the most superstitious people alive. They work in the open and have learned to respect the power of the elements. Over the centuries, seamen have therefore gone to great lengths to avoid giving offense to the gods of the sea, who could unleash the destructive forces of nature. At number 10, a left boot. On the east coast of Scotland, there is an ancient superstition among fishermen that a left boot is unlucky. If a left boot is trawled up in the nets, it is spat on and thrown back as soon as possible. At number 9, a right boot. Scottish fishermen traditionally believe that discovering a right boot in their nets is lucky. It is nailed to the mast to bring the boat good fishing and good fortune. At number 8, a three-knot wind. According to the 19th century author Sir Walter Scott, Bessie Mealy of Orkney, one of the most northern British islands, sold sailors a charm to end a calm. This cost six pence and was simply a piece of string with three knots in it. Untying the first brought fair winds, the second brought a gale, while the third brought a hurricane. At number seven, pigs. Among Atlantic fishermen, especially in the West Indies, pig was traditionally a taboo word. The animal was known instead as curly tail, Mr. Dennis, gruff, little fella, Grecian, or turf rooter. The pig was treated with great respect because it had cloven hooves like a devil and was a totem beast of Mother Earth who controlled the four winds. It was believed that the mention of its name could produce strong winds and that killing a pig on board a ship could bring on a pig storm. And number six, umbrellas and cards. Umbrellas and playing cards are usually thought of as taboo at sea. Cards have always been connected with fortune telling and are known as the devil's picture book. Some say that they should never be taken to sea. Others that tearing up and casting overboard a pack may produce a favorable change in wind. In at number five, Friday the 13th. Friday sail, Friday fail is an old motto of New England fishermen. It was on a Friday that the temptation and the banishment of Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden occurred, as well as the crucifixion of Christ. Friday the 13th of any month is an exceptionally unlucky day on land and on sea. Even naval vessels have been known to avoid putting to sea on such an inauspicious date. At number four, the light of the moon. There is a superstition that the moon is unlucky. In olden times, sailors would bow to the new moon. They would also try to avoid stepping over or on the moon line, which is the part of the deck which was illuminated by the moon. At number three, priests and parsons. In most European seafaring nations, clergymen are traditionally unlucky. This may be because early sailors tended to follow Christianity on shore, but the pagan gods while at sea. A priest at sea was thought likely to provoke a display of strength by maritime divinities. In Scottish fishing communities right up to recent times, even to mention the word priest was thought to be unlucky. Instead, fishermen used euphemisms such as gentleman in black, upstanderer, or a man in the white collar. If carrying a parsons was unavoidable, Scottish seamen took care to wash out their boats thoroughly afterwards. At number two, eyes. A seafaring tradition of the Mediterranean and the Far East is the painting of eyes on each side of the bow of a boat. In ancient China, this was believed to help guide the ship. To the ancient Egyptians, the eye was that of the gods Horus and Osiris, both of whom prevented harm from black magic. The custom is still followed today on Maltese and Portuguese fishing boats. Even in California in 1940, the 17,000-ton freighter the Mormixon was launched with lucky eyes painted on her bow. And at number one, human sacrifice. In past centuries, the least valued member of the crew was sometimes sacrificed in the event of bad weather. This was usually the cook. Such customs are not forgotten. In 1930, when the ship the Olive Bank was becalmed in the Atlantic, the crew threw overboard the cook's best pair of pants. The sacrifice of dignity was also effective. It was said that a storm could be calmed by a woman exposing her breast to it. This is why ship's figureheads are often of women naked to the waist.